Logan YouTubers, Ultimate SpongeBob 11, back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our SpongeBob Comics issue 67 review video. Alright, so, um, yeah, I <laughs> pretty much haven't been making videos at all. Um, I haven't, the last video I made for this channel, of course, was issue 66 last month. Really, because I really didn't have much time, and even if I did have time, I was kinda, you know, uh, not really interested in making videos then. But anyways, um, yeah, so we've got SpongeBob Comics, uh, issue 67, it's hip to be square pants. I'm still thinking whether I want to continue doing episode review videos, uh, given the, the stuff that I have to do, but, um, probably should have some of those up anyways. Um, in the coming days or weeks. Alright, so um, here's issue 67. I'll just uh, get it out of the uh, plastic and we'll take a closer look at the cover. Now, um, these videos are usually about more than 10 minutes, so I can't really do anything about it. I want to show you guys everything in the comic, so um, it's kind of like a review slash uh, it's, it's a literal review, you know, reviewing every single page. Anything is possible in a comic book. Save the date. Free comic book day. Alright, so um, this is presented at BC Cube at Canada, March 27, 2017. Now, um, of course, this also features the uh, Lost Booty, part 2 of 5, which we'll see in the second half of this um, issue. But first, we have Sandwich Panic by David DeGrand. Alright, so... Yeah, look at all those random names of stores. Alright, so send, send, and send e-foam. Send e-foam. Okay. Menus are genuine empty anchors. Nibble. <laughs> this is the tastiest sandwich in Bikini Bottom. The Krusty Krab is finished. Alright, so... We've got some competition here. So, what do you know? We'll sponge on Patrick, search for Plankton, and uh, in a bit to steal the, you know, this, um, this here, Sandy Patty sandwich formula. So, yeah, kinda didn't work out because Plankton's not allowed in there. So, yeah. Plankton. <laughs> Plankton. Oh uh, well. I told you it wasn't a good idea to get on my bad side. Destruction begins! Alright, so he just like uses his robot. This looks like a hammer hit shark. <laughs> but it's green, so it's a little bit weird, but yeah. So this truck button is so huge and the destroy button, rival button is so tiny. I, I don't get it. I mean, if he really built that, I wouldn't... <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to, you know, have such a big self destruct button anyway. Abandoned ship. Alright. So, at the end of the day... <laughs> Smash into pace by antique hammers. Okay, so they kinda... <laughs> they kinda just... I have no idea what's the point anymore. <laughs> okay, so back to normal, I guess. And Plank is just like freaking out there. But I like the art though. I mean, look at SpongeBob. It look, looks pretty nice. Um, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Internal Affair by Kevin Schlazo. And he finds jellyfish all inside his body. I don't really get how that's possible because, I mean,. All those jellyfish would have taken a, a lot more space than SpongeBob's body could actually fit, but oh well. I get I, I kind of get the idea internal there, so I'll give that a three point five out of five. The Sail Sponge. All right, by Vince D. Porter, one of the classic SpongeBob comic artists and story story you know writers. Beanie fan. 
<laughs> first have a special offer for first time buyers. If you purchase one today, I'm authorized to offer you a bonus remote control and a year's supply of batteries for a small additional fee. Yeah, this guy is just pretty much like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> but SpongeBob is gullible enough to, you know, want one. So, what do you know? Best customer ever. Genius idea. So, I mean, you know, in the show, they had the crusty catering thing. So now, <laughs> it's something like, you know, chocolate with nuts, SpongeBob going on as a door to door salesman uh, with the chocolate thing. That was funny. But uh, unfortunately, uh, nobody actually wants to buy Krabby Patties. So. <laughs> Imagine Mr. Krabs saying sell, sell, sell. Okay, so after lots of rejections, I only get at a chump bucket. I need flowers and dandelions. Oh well, didn't get it. Oh, so he says it's too hot out. I'm a sales sponge and I will sell. I will not take no for an answer. Mr. Krabs, I'll do you proud. So he ends up selling all those beanie fans earlier. And uh, they didn't they didn't sell the Krabby Patty at all. So <laughs> Mr. Krabs flies away with SpongeBob, you know, wrecking everything. Uh four out of five. Okay, so I like this one a little bit more. Squid Riffic Fancy Funnies by Gochalco. Alright, so dressed to impress, right? So look, Squirrel, right here comes a fancy limousine. Squirrel and fancy soon. <laughs> Scarf are made from silk, from the finest silkworms, fed nothing but caviar and filet mignon. If you don't know what that is, it's basically steak. I mean, something like steak is beef. At least from what I understand. Okay. And okay, so fancy plans make you fancier. <laughs> Not actually a horsey. Uh, makeover madness. Okay, look at this. So make SpongeBob makes a <laughs> screw into a clown <laughs> and very fashionable, right? Uh, you you still wear last week's fashions. Was this retro night? <laughs> and the end. Okay, SpongeBob, you ruined me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Squidward <laughs> looks like a horse. <laughs> yeah, okay, 4.5 out of 5. Okay, so, we go back to some more piratey stuff with Float Sam and Jets and Pirate Facts. P pirates and Parrots. Story by Stephen Stern and art by Vanessa Davis. So, I'll just let you guys read through this. Um, you can pause and read it. No big deal, 3 out of 5. Okay, so this is like, you know, the, the big storyline again. The Lost Booty of Pencils the Pirate Part 2. Uh, featuring Deckhen Dottie and Fanboy Beer. Alright, so again, story and layout by Derek Dryman, Pencils and Inks, Jared Ordway, and David DeGran. So, if you were, did watch issue 66, you would know that they're finding, you know, the next issue of SpongeBob Comics. Um, essentially, the next comic. And so, yeah, Deckhen Dottie betrayed. That guy, <laughs> uh, to find the treasure, and everything's gonna turn on them, turn on her now. So, anyways, this is part two. SpongeBob instructor pants. So Patrick soon needs to swim. My pencil is a pirate. Um. So Mr. Grant puts Patrick to work. You know, look at this chop them vegetables by building your swimming muscles. Practice your strokes by flipping them patties. Freestyle them ingredients. <laughs> this. Endurance and speed by delivering them to the customers. Well, okay. <laughs> so yeah, free labor, I guess. And... Mr. Krabs catches Patrick swimming in the cup juice. Or not really, at least. So next up, Squidward. So Squidward's coming up next. So, oh well, we're back to the ship. 
So now Deccan Dottie is being betrayed. What is a big turn of events, right? Okay, so anyways, these are the answers and squawking. Um, the clues. So as you can see, this is skeleton on the first page, the key on the second page, and the prison door on the third page. Skeleton, skeleton key, prison door. Must have locked him up in Botanical Bay Prison. It looks like Australia. <laughs> I don't know why it looks a little bit like Australia. But okay, never mind. So that's about it for the Lost Booty. Um, be back again in May, of course. Um, I'll give it a four out of five, I guess. It's it's pretty interesting. Not that um, boring though. Okay. So we have the first ever collections of original comics selected by Stephen Hellenberg. Of course, SpongeBob Comics number one, Silly Sea Stories, includes SpongeBob Adventures You Won't See on TV. And of course, number two, Aquatic Adventures Unite, featuring the best superhero themed stories arriving May 2017, 1095. They're actually pretty cheap on Amazon right now. I'm actually uh, gonna order them once they are made available. Um, I believe on May 6th. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely have a mail day video for that as well as a review video for those two um, books, if you want to call it that way. But look at this, I really like this back cover because basically this is what happens if, um, you know, Bikini Bottom actually looked like a coastal town or, you know, something in real life. Alright, so you have this building here, <laughs> with pineapple on top, uh, Krusty Krab Claw make Krabby Cakes, and a Goofy Goober Grind, Barnacle Bowl, and look at this. Welcome to Bikini Bar. Reclaimed Driftwood signed. I don't know what C slash O stands for. Restoration Beachwear by Julia Wirtz. Chum Chutney. Plankton Snacks. <laughs> so that's, just, that's really, really nice. Alright, so that is about it for this video. I'll give this uh, cover here a 4.5 out of 5. I really just like these back covers a lot. I mean, you know, there were some that were really quite ugly. No offense, guys, but. Some they were really quite ugly in uh, issues a long time ago, but I think it's actually been quite decent. So, great work over at United Plankton Pictures. Uh, overall, give this issue a 4 out of 5. It's a decent issue, um, just like any other issue. Um, I mean, Spongebob comics are always decent. They're only a certain few are really bad, but... You know, that's like the smallest minority you can ever find. So anyways, that is about it for this video. What do you think about this issue? Comment in the box below. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it right here on Ultimate SpongeBob 1. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.